and welcome to another exciting adventure with your host, Lore. This is Lore's Lecture. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about anime. This is Dragon Ball Z. Um, while most people don't enjoy it, and I don't really enjoy it anymore, uh, when you're a teenager it's an okay little thing to watch. Uh, Team Four Star is done in a bridge series. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, a bridge. If you go to YouTube, type that in, you'll find it. Larry stuff. I think you should watch Dragon Ball Z before you watch it. I think it's funnier that way, but you don't have to. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to give you a rundown of some of my favorite animes that I've watched recently-ish. So I'm not going to go back too far, so you won't have to put up with the animation style from back then. So let's start off with my first pick, which is Ghost Hunt. Uh, Ghost Hunt is a paranormal anime. Um, basically, the main character is a girl who is in high school, and weird things start happening there. Uh, a team of ghost hunters show up to investigate, and she winds up tangling up with them, and then they go off and have adventures hunting down ghosts other places. While that doesn't sound, like, scientific about it or anything, they do take a scientific approach to it a little bit, which I found interesting, and they also uh, bring in a Buddhist monk, a Shinto priestess and a Catholic priest which and then they all try to dispel ghosts or whatever what's going on I think that's very interesting to see how the Japanese present these three interacting so I found that very interesting uh, the next one I picked is called the wallflower or if you want to get the Japanese it is Yamato Nadeshiko Shichi Henge um, I probably didn't pronounce that right. I'll maybe I'll spell it out here or something. Uh, basically, what this is is kind of what they call reverse harem. There's one girl who's the main character, and there's a bunch of pretty boys. While that doesn't sound as interesting as it could, let me explain a little bit. Uh, the main girl is basically she's into horror and creepy and blood, and she giggles about stuff like that. She's cute in that fashion because she's giggly but she is presented as if she's hideous to everybody else she has these long hair covering her face and you never see her and she just she kind of um if you ever saw the ring yeah she's kind of like that she's creeping around and doing weird shit like that and the guys are there to try to make her into a woman you know a pretty woman who you know and they're offered free rent if they were to do that. Um, it's very funny. Uh, the creepy stuff is very amusing. I like how she giggles about the blood. Yeah, so that's funny. It's a it's a funny show. It's not very serious. Ghost Hunt, on the other hand, is basically fairly serious. Uh, another one that is kind of like the Wallflower in the fact that it's a reverse harem. I don't know why I started liking reverse harem stuff. It's called Oron High School Host Club. What this is is this girl gets into this high school and it's her first time there and she's dressed up in the men's uniform I think for some reason and she wanders into the host club's room and breaks one of their valuables and they all mistake her for a pretty boy and they want her to join up with them uh, since she broke the vase she's kinda obligated to and it's like if they find out she's a girl kinda stuff and then they do which happens like in the first episode and then trying to hide that from everybody else. It's very amusing. It's another funny one. Uh, after this, uh, this one is a little older, but it is a classic. And I think most people would enjoy it. it it's got a jazzy feel to it. It's called Cowboy Bebop. Um, basically, they're a, a group of individuals going out hunting down criminals, like they're bounty hunters, in space. The moon has been destroyed and they travel between planets in the solar system and using this gate system to travel. Actually, it's serious, but it's actually very funny, too. Um, it's very amusing. You might go out and watch that. Another serious one, one that's kind of very strange, is called Ghost Hound. Um, I really like the animation in this one, and it's very creepy. Basically, the first scene is these two kids 
tied to a bed in an abandoned building and the brother is watching his sister die. And that turns out he's reliving his past when it, this that's the first scene. He's reliving the past and it's about him dealing and coming to terms with his sister's death and there is actually paranormal things in there. The astral project at some point. It's very creepy. But I kind of liked it. And the animation, like I said, is fantastic. So, Ghost Town. Excellent. Okay, back to a little funnier. Um, this is a classic. Um, if you like, I don't know, school in Japan kind of viewpoint, if you kind of want to learn a little bit more about that in a funny fashion, you'd want to watch Azumanga Dao. Hilarious. Um, group of teenage girls in high school, and it's just everyday slice of life kind of stuff in high school, and it's really, really amusing for some reason. Oz oh, Manga Dao, watch it. It's also a manga, it's really good too. Uh, back to serious, there's an anime called Berserk. Uh, amazing. This guy has so much crap happen to him in his life, and he just becomes this powerful warrior and it, you see him start out as a you know very strong child you know maybe not able to stand up to men but he just evolves into this supremely powerful being and then trying to deal with his friendships and relationships and it's set in a medieval kind of style in a, a mythical world there are demons some people may not like that fact but I think that the storytelling with the character development and everything is, is fascinating uh, the manga is actually a lot better, but the anime is actually pretty good too. Next one. I love this one for the storytelling, and after I started watching it, the animation. Uh, it's called Genkutsu. Basically, it's the County Monte Cristo in space. Weird, right? And not only that, the animation is weird. Now, I didn't like it to begin with. I was fascinated by it, but I didn't like the animation. They like the textures are not stilled on the characters. They kind of move as they move. It's like they put a piece of paper behind a cutout of the character's clothing, and so when they moved, you could see the texture move with it. Interesting, and it's very, very pretty, but it's the Count of Monte Cristo, and it's revenge, and it's amazing, and I think the opening song is fantastic. It may be the ending song, I can't remember. Uh, won't, can't, won't See Me Coming, I think it is. Amazing stuff great anime, ends very interestingly, the plot development is fascinating. So, Genkutsu, Count of Monte Cristo. Alright, next one, another serious one. Um, now, I know people talk a lot about Death Note and how it was interesting with the way uh, the plot was developing and it was a mental thriller kind of thing and you'd have to think out what you're doing. I agree Death Note was very good in like the first part. Okay? So I'm going to recommend something else that actually was consistently smart. Code Geass. Wow. Wow. Amazing anime. You, if you like mecha, it's in there. If you like mental thrilling, kind of minds fighting minds and tactics and everything, this is it. Okay? Um, basically, it is one man's revenge against his family. He has, like, Japan has been taken over. Actually, the whole world has been taken over by an empire called uh, Britannia. And this kid is trying to bring back Japan. In fact, he's probably trying to take over the whole world. But it's very interesting how he does this. And he hides the fact. He is zero, but he isn't. Oh, it's fascinating. There's a little magic in it, too, which is like, okay. But the way he uses it, so kind of like Death Note, it's so smart. And it's two seasons. So probably, what, 52 episodes? Good stuff. I mean, there's a, maybe a couple episodes that aren't great, but the majority of it is a fantastic anime. All right, finally, let's move on to movies. All the rest of those were series, so basically 26 episodes or so. Okay? Uh, movies, though, if you want to spend a couple hours at one time to watch something, let me recommend some stuff. Now, basically... Anything by Miyazaki or Studio Ghibli, which is his company. 
uh, like Howl's Moving Castle, Princess Mononoke, Spirited Away, The Cat Returns, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of them, okay? All amazing. Uh, any one of the ones I just named, you would want to go out and watch. The only issue I have with all of them is almost every single one of those animes has something to do with how man is corrupting nature and we need to be balanced with nature. That's basically the main theme through almost everything he makes. Doesn't mean it's a bad anime, but you just got to be aware that's kind of where he's coming from for the most point. Um, now finally, The Last Movie, absolute classic. One of the best animes ever made. Uh, the first one that started bringing anime so mainstream to everyone. And it is future. Akira. Akira is amazing. I have the box set 10 that shows you all about the music in the background and, and the development of the characters and the animation. Oh my god, I can't tell you anything about this because it would ruin it. Suffice it to say, fantastic. Set in the future, it's got bikers. Not that that's the main point or anything, but wow. Society. Fantastic. So go out and watch Akira. You may not like it, but you gotta appreciate the art to it. Okay? It's fantastic. Um, there's a couple of different English dubs. Get the latest one if you want to watch a dub, uh, because the earlier one is kind of crappy. If you want to watch it subbed, anything's fine. Because the original voice acting in Japan was good. Uh, so, I believe this was Laura's lecture where I went on and on and on about anime. Uh, little secret, this is actually for someone. Hey, Elena, how you doing? I made this for you. All right, and with that, I'll see you guys later.